Hey, Sneaky Legs back again today. And today, we got not Ubuntu. This is Ed Ubuntu 11.10. And I haven't done Ed Ubuntu for coming on two years now. So I thought it was about time I had another look, see how it's gone along. And basically, it's not changed too much, but it's more new programs there for you to use and see and stuff like that. So I thought we'd have a little look around, as you do, and show you some of the programs in the education section. Remembering, you can actually download a lot of them anyway via the package manager or the software center, okay? So, I'm going to use my dash home now, go to my home, for my dash, because it's dashy. Right, oh, I should have got used to this interface yet, because I don't actually use it too much, to be honest with you. Right, education. Okay, there they come up. I'm going to make that full screen. Okay, what do we got here? As you can see, I've used a couple already, okay? But I'm going to open this one out, and there they all are. Okay, so you've got blinking. Celestia is for stargazing, so you can see where stars and galaxies, etc., etc., G Combris is for children between the ages of two and I would say seven or eight uh, maximum. So open it up and have a look. Yeah, let's have another look. Okay, G Combris, let's check it out. Oh, bit of sound there as well from my headphones, of course. Okay, this is G Compris, and we just choose what we want to do basically. Discover the computer for a really young child. Just, just get them used to how to use the computer basically. So we'll open one of those up for you. So, mouse. Welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. Person, stop talking. Okay, so what have we got here? Click the mouse. Click the mouse to erase the area and discover the background. Okay, that's nice and easy, isn't it? So, we'll click that. Oh, that's all you do. So basically, all we're doing now is click in, click in, click in on these things here to get rid of them. And that's it, really. Okay, I've had enough of that one. Thank you very much. Right, okay, another one. Should we go to, all oh, it is puzzles. Let's try puzzles. Right, you've got a basic puzzle, you have a Tangram puzzle game, you have the build the same model, that's quite a good one actually, actually I'm, not, I'm not a kid though, but it's quite a good one, you've got the, the simplified Tower of Hanoi, now, if some of you have been to school, you should know that one anyway, okay, over here we've got the photo hunter, find the difference between the two pictures, but what we're going to do, we're going to assemble the puzzle, just a nice simple one, look, as you can see, it's really easy, and she's trying to tell me what to do there, and I'm ignoring her, you see, so pick it up over there, that goes there, that goes there. Really good for children to get used to using the mouse and keyboard and using their eyes at the same time, if you know what I mean. You just drag all the pits over and over and over. The more you do, the more complicated they get, by the way, okay? So that's okay. At least I know it was awesome. I have to be American. Anyway, never mind. As you can see, more pieces there. Right, that's enough of that one. So we'll come out of that. You've also got mathematics, so if we click on there, remember this is for younger children. Numeration, so let's go have a quick look there, what games we've got there. Go to money, okay, it's quick by me. Numbers with dices, see, it's all there for them to use. Now you can have this at home for free without paying anybody, because it's free. Yes, free, yeah, I said free, didn't I? Yeah, free, okay, or three, or left, that's free. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of G Compress, yes, I'm sure I've had enough of that, so out of that we come. Right, go to my dash home again. Okay, let's have a bit of a look here again. I'll make it full screen for you again. What next, he says. Shall we have a look at uh, education first, isn't it? Yeah. See more results again. Right, you've got K Hangman, another one. That's Hangman, yeah, you should be easier to use that. K Word Quiz, another nice one. That's lovely jabbly. Okay, Tux Typing. Okay, any of you ever used this? It's fun and educational. Let's have a go. Basically teaches you how to spell at the end of the day. Tux for kids. Here we go. Now adults will like this as well. So you can have the fish cascade, you can have the comet zap, you can have basic lessons, so it actually teaches you how to do it, and there's the options and the quit. So we're gonna go with the fish cascade, okay? And we'll go to easy. If I remember how to do this, it should be alright. We'll go click on the alphabet. So that's X. So what do we do? We click X, of course. So he's at he's fishy. Did you notice the X went up there, it went away from the fishy. We've got another fishy coming down there, it's D. This is for really young children who are just learning to use the keyboard, basically. Yeah, yes. So if you press escape, uh, press escape again to return menu, or press the space bar to return the game. So return to menu, I think. Now you can do it hard as well, by the way. So that you have to actually spell words, and it does get harder as you go along. I think there's about 50 levels on each one, really. I can't actually remember correctly, but hey, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there's another that. Let's quit and come out of that. So that was Tux Type. The next one we're going to have a look at, 
on the old scoreboard is tax meth I think there we go another one from helping you learn maths basically and it's fun as well adults will like it as well as children yes they really will so this is tux math it's actually tux command it used to be called as far as well yeah they can play a network game and you can play with friends at the same time there's also factoroids for doing other stuff as well hmm so you go click play alone and just to show you how it looks if you've never ever used it before go and get it it's a day available for most debian distributions and probably every other linux distribution out there so anyway you can go to the training academy you can go to the Math Command fleet missions, they're quite hard actually as they go along. Or a bit of arcade, so we'll go to a bit of arcade. Right, shall I be a Space Cadet? Yeah, let's try Space Cadet. De -de 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 -de. As you can see, Star Trek. Right, basically all you do is put the answer in, which is 3, and then press space. And he shoots it down. So 8 plus 2 is 10. Space. And we've shot him. And that's it, and that's the first level. Now as the levels go on, they get harder. So we'll come out of that. No, I don't want to go in the Hall of Fame. No, no, I don't want to go in the Hall of Fame. Now, also you've got Scout, you've got Range, you've got Ace, and you've got Commando. Now you're thinking, oh, these games can't be that difficult. Well, I don't know if some of you have ever done maths up to O level or A level standard in the UK, or that would be, what, be in the US, I haven't got a clue. Let's go to the Commando, and you'll see the sort of things I mean. And this is only Wave 1. Question mark times 7, minus 8 equals 78. What is question mark? I dare some of you adults to actually play this and get to the top level. I think some of you may have a bit of trouble and some of your bases will be blowing up. But that's enough of that one, okay? So we'll go back to the main menu and we'll quit that because we've had enough of that, haven't we? Yes. We'll go back to our dash at your home again. Okay, we'll make it full screen again. We'll go to more apps again and we'll go to education again. I'll open them all up again so you can see some more stuff. Also, you've got tux paint. Most of you know what that is. You've got step as well. Harley is there, bloody, 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 blah. Okay. Also, you also get all the usual stuff that comes with Ubuntu. So you still get Firefox, you still get Gobby for collaborating stuff, Gwiver for your social client, Transmission, and Thunderbird for your mail. So yeah, it's plenty there. For your office, you get a full Libra office suite. Yes, the full suite, as you would do. Bearing in mind, it's 2.6 gig to download. It's a big old bugger. It really, really is. You've got Libra Cad as well, Stellarium, we said, and Calcium. Oh, Calcium, yes, we like that. And there's other stuff you can download. There's loads and loads of stuff you can actually load it up with. Now, bearing in mind, also, when you're installing, you can actually uh, you make a server out of it, so you can run thin clients off it. So if you've got a small classroom or a nursery or something like that, you can actually run the thin clients from the main one and control it, what it does, basically, at the end of the day. Don't forget, you still get the software center. Obviously, if you wanted Synaptic, you'll have to install that via command line. Oh yeah, via command line. That's just your basic sudo apt get install, and it will be done. Because it doesn't come in this one. Oh no, it doesn't come at all. Make that larger? Yes, yeah, make that larger so you can see the whole screen. Taking its time as you do. And there you go, there's the new software center. It's all there. Oh, I don't like these pay ones, mate. Have you seen these? A practical guide to Ubuntu. Oh, you seen the magazines? <sighs> Some of the magazines just loads of money for nothing. But anyway, that's me having a little rent there. See, like, we've been trying to unleash 2011, $40. It's a bit much, really, don't you think? Well, I think it's a bit much. But hey, what do I know? Yeah, I don't know nothing, do I? No, we just don't. I don't know. Anyway, that is Edubun 2 1110. There's more and more to it, but that's all I'm going to show you. Now, bearing in mind, if you're going to use Unity, if you've got Unity 3D, you're going to need a really, really good processor and graphics card, okay? Because it really max this one out. So I'm using Unity 2D here, and it runs quite fine. But you can also get the name, known classic version, so that'd be fine. You can just run the old basic one. It's easy peasy. Anyway, Edubuntu 11.10. You know what? It deserves, 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 deserves a five. Sneaky. Linux going out. I see you later. Bye, 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 bye.